Jamie Warner. Well, you went to bed with quiet weather, but storms swept in after midnight and uh, came with some wind, especially in areas to our northwest, areas like Osceola, east across uh, Hickory County. Uh, some spotty reports of wind damage, even one report of hail up near Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, as the storms got down to I-44, though, they began to lose some of their steam, although we did get some gusty winds. I don't know if you heard it, but right around 3 to 3.30 this morning, winds really picking up here in the Springfield area as that line, that initial line, made its way into the the area and and after those storms moved in, the rain never wanted to leave. And sometimes this happens. Here's the setup: we had that pocket of rain uh, that just kind of sat over southwest and south central Missouri. And what had happened was we had the rain cooled air mass from the overnight and morning storms stuck in the area. Meanwhile, upstairs we still had this low level jet feature moving over the top of that shallow layer of cool air, generating additional showers and thunderstorms, especially on the back edge. Where we had this boundary set up and uh, just kept scattered showers and thunderstorms going throughout the morning hours into this afternoon. And that kept temperatures in the 70s all afternoon long and usually cool out there for the middle of August. This area of showers, though, should fade. And this boundary should lift back toward the north overnight tonight. There's another boundary located north of I 70. I'm going to be watching for another round of showers and thunderstorms to light up here along I 70. This activity will likely build east into the Kansas City area, maybe by around. Midnight tonight, and that will continue down I 70, and it will come with the risk of maybe some damaging winds once again. Now, the uh, Storm Prediction Center has an outlook that looks like this with a severe weather risk that extends all the way down to about Highway 60. That may be too far south. I think what we may find, though, is the risk for maybe some damaging winds in areas like uh, maybe uh, 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 Warsaw, east through Versailles, into areas like Vienna. This area right in here is where we could have some damaging winds with those storms as they move in late tonight after midnight. Here in Springfield, though, we could see that outflow boundary make its way all the way into our area by sunrise, and that could come with some gusty winds and at least a, a slight chance for a shower storm. Now, tomorrow morning, we're probably going to have scattered showers and thunderstorms in this zone, and like today, it may be tough to get rid of those showers, so we may see a lingering rain threat in areas like Lake of the Ozarks east across Rolla. Meanwhile, the rest of the area, we should find sunshine developing, and it should be hot and breezy during the afternoon hours. Here's our hour by hour forecast. A little bit overdone with the rain in the beginning, but you can see how the evening hours generally become quiet. By 3 o'clock in the morning, though, it looks like showers and thunderstorms may begin to threaten areas uh, up towards, say, uh, Lincoln, Missouri. This activity will kind of build off to the east southeast down about I 44 and will continue to have that risk, I think, for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity here through the morning hours. And we may even have a slight chance for a shower storm as far south as about Highway 60. As we get into the afternoon, that boundary should try to lift back towards the north. Here's our seven day forecast. Again, a uh, lot to talk about there. Uh, looks like highs tomorrow will be in the low 90s. On Sunday, I think scattered showers and thunderstorms will impact just about all of the Ozarks. That'll keep highs in the 80s, turning hot and mainly quiet Monday and Tuesday with another front coming in with a chance for rain on Wednesday. And we should see a lingering chance for showers on the backside of that front Thursday and Friday and cooler temperatures, too. Okay, and what's our viewers' club number tonight? Number tonight, 158 762 Jackpot $200. All right, Jamie, thank you. Next up.